while the world mesmerized by how we went from Will Smith eating spaghetti to this in just one year, I believe we need to talk about more down-to-earth problems, like can we manage the state in React application using just React context and React hooks? The short answer, it depends on the state, but let's explore closer. React offers only two ways to manage state, and the state is managed locally within the component. It's either using use state hook or using use reducer hook. But what if we have this imaginative application where we have a component that shows some user avatar and then another component that shows some information about that user. These two components cannot manage that state independently because we are talking about exactly the same user in both cases. So they need to have this state synchronized, meaning that the only way to manage this user information is to lifting it up to the nearest ancestor of this two components. And in this case, it will be the app itself. So here's this app component and we have avatar that is deeply nested and then another nested component that visualize some other user related information. And this component is nested four levels deep from the app uh, and this component is nested three levels deep from the app. So if the app will manage this state that these two components need, how will it pass this state to components? You also need to take into account this avatar is not really available in the app because each of these components will be a separate file because it could be, let's say some kind of route and it will be some kind of page at that route and then it will be something else nested inside and there will be something else nested inside and then somewhere deeper it will be this avatar component. Here is just a simplification of a real world application where we unfortunately won't be able to pass the state just like that straight to the avatar or straight ne uh, into the nested component. We can use something that is called prop drilling meaning that we would need to pass the state uh, avatar and nested component both, both needs a user. So we can pass this user through all of these components, but we don't want to do that simply because those components do not require that user information. And we know that for this situation, we can rely on a context. Since context is some sort of a dependency injection tool that allows us to create a provider for a value and then you will be able to access that value from any child of that provider. So now we have defined a type user. We also created a context that will provide that value user. Also following best practices, we created a dispatch context for those components that so that some other components will be able to dispatch a user. So then we manage uh, the state of that value that context will provide, we manage through use reducer in a Redux kind of fashion. And then we have, we wrapped everything that potentially would require that user or be able to change that user. We wrapped all of those, uh, we wrapped all of that React subtree in context. User context provider, and user dispatch context provider, where user context provider provides a user, the current value for the user, and user dispatch context provider provides a dispatch function. And now everything works. So when the user log in, we see that avatar changes. Uh, it kind of visualizes some kind of user information. And also to this nested component uh, changes, also visualizing some user information. When we log out, everything changes again. But the problem is that context itself, it solves only the prop drilling problem. So we use it as a dependency injection tool to provide this value where it's needed, let's say in the avatar component. So here avatar can use the user context to show some user related information same goes for the nested component that also can show some user information. But since the state management happens in the app, because it's the nearest common ancestor for these two components, we know that whenever we call dispatch from use reducer or wh whenever we call set state from use state hook, React will need to re-render this component and also re-render all of its children. And that's exactly what we see here that when we look in, 
or log out, the whole subtree re-renders. And it's not a big deal, to be honest, that React does re-render lots of components, but at the same time, it will depend on how often the state will change. And there is no a way to kind of get out of this situation because the state is managed within the React kind of scope which is expected that whenever the component where the state is changes, re-renders, all of its children renders. So since we manage the state in the app, the whole app renders, even though re-rendering all of these components are completely unnecessary because they don't even care about the user that has been changed. And that's why we have state management libraries because all state management libraries available in React, they never manage the state inside the React scope, but they manage the state outside of React scope and then synchronize it inside the React scope through some mechanism. For example, like Jutai does. I imported Atom and use Atom from Jutai. And then whenever we previously used use context hook, we use Atom hook to get the user object. And where we were dispatching the fake login logout, uh, we also just use the atom set user, uh, provide a null or the object. User state is then managed by this user atom. And this use atom hook is then used to synchronize that state into inside the, this React scope. So now when we log in or log out, as we can see, nothing re renders more than it re-rendered originally, except uh, this component that renders the buttons. So to summarize, can the context and React hooks be used to manage the state inside the React? It depends a little bit on the state. If the state is something that seldomly changes, for example, is it a light or dark theme? Or another example is authenticated user, because users do not log in, log out like 1000 times per second or whatever, right? So they usually log in once per session or whatever. And then such state could be a perfect candidate and you don't need a library and you can manage this state through context. But otherwise, if the state is actively changing, then unfortunately, I don't think that you will be able to use uh, context plus hooks effectively because of this constant re-rendering problem. And even though rendering is not that bad at React, when you re-render the whole tree or significant enough part of your React tree all the time, because the state changes so oftenly, it will affect the performance of your application. In that case, it would be much nicer to use some sort of a library if you need to manage a state globally within your React application. Otherwise, context could be very good to implement, for example, compound pattern, but that is the topic for another video. Thank you for watching.